So Jenny, what is the ugly side of buying a fixer-upper? Ooh, we've bought two fixer-uppers, uh, major fixer-uppers, since I've been in real estate. Um, one was a house over on Park Street. And when we bought it, it had no floors in part of the house. It had no working bathrooms. And it was built in 1890. So, but the kitchen was fantastic. I'm, I'm, we're showing you some photos here. So when we started working on it, one of the things that we weren't prepared for is just how unsquare everything in the house was. Hmm. Chad can never get the doorways to be straight. Uh, They're always a little crooked. It's just for being an older house? Yeah. Even the floor joists, like the man worked underneath them trying to get them level. Our floors were never completely level. Like if you rolled a marble across, it was always going to roll, <laughs> you know. And remember, you slept in the office one time when you were dating Meg because, you know, he had to sleep in the office. How was that floor? Um, wavy? Yep, wavy, for and sure. It, and it was in the wintertime and cold air used to come <laughs> up. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It was awful. <laughs> Then we bought the house over on Douglas Street and fixed it up. And you worked, I worked on, on that one for a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So when you were working on it, what was the biggest thing? If I remember right, the floor. Yeah. Like was the it? foundation. Yes. We My had to, gosh. We had to, yes. There was like one main support beam that went through the middle of the house and it, the whole thing had to come out yeah. and get replaced. And remember when Chad decided to take out the fireplace? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. In the bathroom, y'all. But here's the thing. So with fixer uppers, the ugly side of it is it doesn't matter. Like we always had a home inspection. Chad kind of knew what we were doing. Our budget never was right. Because when you start taking that stuff up, like under the floor and in the bathrooms and stuff, it can just shoot up so much. Now on the other side of it is the amount of time. Like Chad's always like, we can get this done in a day. How long would it take? It's usually a little longer than that, right? A little bit. <laughs> I was like, are you and Chad doing anything over there, Sean? It seems like you're just drinking Gatorade or something. <laughs> but it, I would have to go over and work on it to keep them on track. But, oh, no, here comes the boss. Yeah. Get back to work. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to get in trouble if he's, <laughs> if he's not careful. But uh, the budget is rough, and then the amount of time, especially if we don't have crews. We have Sean. And Chad. So we didn't have a big crew and so that can be a big thing. People sometimes will talk about a fixer upper being a, a flip and it's really hard to do that in today's market I think. So mm -hmm. anyway hope that helps. <music>